Hi, welcome. My name is Ivan. This is a H5P video tutorial. We get started in its website h5p.org. And you can see a couple of examples here. An interactive video and a machine game. After that, we can get some results as time spent and cartoons. So H5P enables you and empowers you to be able to create your own interactive content in your browser and then to embed that content in an LMS, Learning Management System. In addition, it could also be embedded in a blog or a website. Most people that use H5P are building content to be used in their course in an LMS. Anyway, there are just a couple of examples of kinds of content that you can create and embed in your own online course or website. And to see other examples, notice that you can go up here to the top and click on examples and downloads. And if you do it, it takes you a page that talks about some examples. We have light course presentation, interactive video, memory game. But if you go down, there is a list of all the different types of activities that you can create using H5P. There really are quite a lot of them, so you can choose a category in this menu in order to see the relative course, the relative content of kind of content with the category. Add games, multimedia, questions, whatever you want. So, well. Also, FIP is one of the most important tools that we use in our European project called Up to You. So, FIP, what does it mean? It means HTML5 package, package of content made in HTML5. So, what is H5P? H5P is a free open source or also a service made in HTML5 that is completely free technology, licensed with the MIT license. What is for? Well, it lets us create, share applications and HTML. HTML5 content at easy and friendly way. Create interactive web experience more efficiently and all you need is a web browser. So let's move on to the action and we would like to show you an example of true false question. Well, first you need is to create or set up an account. You will just go here and see for a new account. It's pretty quick and pretty easy to have your account. Anyway, I'm gonna up, go up here to the top and I would like to just click on my account here with my credentials. Uh, when it takes me to my account, um, you will see a list of recent content that I have made. Well, uh, probably you really haven't made any and um, let's remedy that. What I need to do is click here where it says create new content and it loads up the content creation interface. Next it says select content type and this is where you get to pick what kind of activity that you are about to make. This is a list of activity and I would like to make a true false question as we mentioned before. Then I gonna type the title and I call it title sample. Well, here there is a and any other options as type the question and other behavior and options that we can see here. But for example, we can go to feedback 
we can put some feedback if we get correct answer or wrong answer if you want and also uh, of course you can translate the, the language of the different buttons in this exercise so now I will show you a demo that I made here well this is the, the preview of the demo this is a simple question is h5p open source and the two possibilities to answer that we can select for example if we select files we can check and we get some buttons show solution or retry but we get a general feedback if we go to edit mode we can type our own wrong answer for example sorry you need to try again if we save this we can see that if we select files as our answer we get the feedback sorry you need to try again and this is a one of the behavior that we will explain in the future video tutorials so well this is all about the, this example of H5P exercise but what advantage does this have? well the content is responsive and friendly in all devices user experience is the same in computer, PC, uh, smartphones, tablets and what else? well it allows us to embed content in CMS content management systems and LMS learning management systems and let us create and edit interactive videos presentations games and much more something more yes it gives us access to creation of many different types of exercise and interactive activities that we saw before in the web page h5p.org and also this content can be reused to adapt it to a new situation for example this the same uh, exercise can be used in different language or maybe in different material so that is all thank you for your time I hope you enjoyed this video and it will help you to create new kind of content if you did please click the like button and please do subscribe to this YouTube channel, channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students regards and until next time